general manager of Call of Duty, and I am thrilled to help kick off a truly significant moment, not only for the highly anticipated upcoming release of Modern Warfare 2, but a very significant moment for the future of the entire Call of Duty franchise. You see, over the last several years, we've experienced explosive and dynamic growth, and we've learned a ton along the way. And those learnings have fueled our ambition to deliver a wholly new, elevated player experience. One focused, of course, on delivering more fun and innovation, but also state-of-the-art tech advancements built to support a more connected Call of Duty community than ever before. So just know that what we shared today across Modern Warfare 2, our brand new Warzone 2.0 experience coming later this fall, and our designs to bring Warzone to mobile for players on the go are all certainly big news, but it's just the first chapter of a very bold, long-term vision that we carry to take Call of Duty to even higher heights in the years to come. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right what is going on youtube we are back in it for another one and uh this game man activision there's two constants with this game it's consistently inconsistent and the only thing to talk about with this game is that there's nothing to talk about nothing kind of ironic isn't it let me tell you something else that's ironic with this game. They sell us this game initially as what's supposed to be the whole package, full price game. Actually, it's not even a full price game. We paid $10 more than a full price game. And they also sell this game as a live service game. They have failed. They are failing at both of those things. It's kind of poetic, isn't it? It's legendary. Like, how can you set your game up? for absolute success because you're cutting corners here and there and you're going after all the market all of it everybody you want them all you want the battle royale you want the live service you want this you want that and you're epically failing at all of it man it's activision bro now you're probably wondering why i'm saying this having just recorded and uploaded a video a few hours ago talking about how i feel like they're sabotaging their own game how this game is dead most of my commentaries on this game lately is there's nothing to talk about there's nothing to do so apparently we're gonna have two more weeks of nothing to talk about nothing to do and nothing to see here because apparently season two is being delayed by two weeks for modern warfare deuce there's a bunch of people talking about it a bunch of credible people addressing this and uh i'm not happy man we're, we're a little heated right now i mean that's the main focus of a lot of people's content lately a lot of my content lately is just the lack of content with this game like you charge us ten dollars more than full price for this game we got our first season. It's here. It's boring. You gave us two maps, one that we had a few years ago in Modern Warfare 2019, one that we had all the way back in COD fucking 4 when I first started on the franchise. Feels like I've been in the franchise forever. We've been playing on that fucking map. Those are the two quote unquote new maps that we got with this bitch ass season with this whack, boring as fuck game put me to sleep. And now you're going to delay season two by two weeks in the wise words of the homie blame truth three years three thousand developers billions of dollars every year they're bragging about this shit fuck off it sucks i am so sick of this shit man it's like every year right they drop the meanest deuce that you could possibly drop and then they rub our faces in it start laughing at us shit like it's a big ass joke right they drop these games unfinished broken as hell they charge us ten dollars more than full price brag about their sales and then they take forever throughout the year to fix shit that should have never been a problem in the first place and they just rub our faces in that fucking dookie man and they just have a big ass laugh about it while they're sitting on their yachts and all this other bullshit cheese 
making changes to these games that nobody asked for man nobody asked for the minimap to be broken like it was in 2019 all over again nobody asked for loud as fuck feet with no perk to quiet them so you could actually move around consistently nobody asked for the fucking perk change dude i haven't talked to one single person that actually likes the perk change in this game not one person not one even the fanboys I don't even hear them talking about how they actually like that change. Like I've said in a video before and other videos in the past, I usually hate ghosts in Infinity War games. I do, right? It's a camper's perk. No doubt. Obviously, rushers still used it, but you can straight up camp as hard as you want with that bitch and you don't got to worry about shit. I hated it. I like the way Treyarch does it, man. Treyarch's ghost promotes movement. But in this game, with the UAV spam... We need that ghost, man, unless you want to be killed like 10 extra times a game or even more. Shooting down fucking UAVs, man, is bullshit. So now they changed the perk like this, and the perk is actually broken too. It doesn't even work properly. But you got to wait like half the fucking match before you even have it available to you. Who asked for that? Out here bragging about all the sales you got with this game. This game is still broken as shit. This game is still starving for content and now your next season which is supposed to drop in a couple of weeks is being delayed by a couple of weeks man you know what's funny is you actually have people show up in this video right and they'll be like well you're the problem you bought the game well if you don't like it stop playing it right it's always just like a detour right they're trying to get you off the game so that you stop bringing awareness to it you stop talking about it that's usually what it is they don't want you bad in the game, man. You can't bring any criticism or negativity to the game. Everything's got to be positive. Rainbows and butterflies and shit. They, they're cool. They're cool with spending $10 more than full price for this game. They're cool with all their shit being half-assed, lazy, unfinished, incomplete. They're cool with them spending most of their focus on $20 and $40 fucking bunny rabbit, pink bunny skin bundles in the fucking store they don't want anybody to talk about that shit they're cool with all of that garbage but all i got to say to those people is there's people out here legitimate people that paid that full price plus ten dollars for this game that actually bought a bundle here or there and this is what they got with that money so as long as i'm still in this picture as long as i still have this youtube channel as long as i'm still in the call of duty scene I'm going to make videos. I'm going to talk about it, man. So it sucks to be you. If you don't like it, stop watching, bitch. I swear to God, these clowns, these virgins, these nerds, they're just as bad as the developers and publishers themselves. Like if you look back at a game just like OGMW2, right? I don't know offhand how many, but I know we got a shitload more shipped maps with that game. Just content was there, man. Content that we hadn't seen yet. It was all new content. Yeah, we ended up getting a few COD 4 maps remastered, brought over later on as DLC, but still, with the base game, the maps that shipped with the game, we got like almost double than what we got in this game that costs more. Man, fuck. I, <laughs> dude, I'm just, I'm so sick of this shit, man. It's like, how can they keep getting away with this, though? It's right there, right? It's like the crime is being committed. The police see it. The authorities see it. Nobody's doing anything about it. Like, they're criminals. They're out here committing crimes, but they get to walk as free as all of us who don't commit any crimes, man. We abide by the law. You know, they get the same freedoms that we do while they're doing this bullshit. I made a video recently talk about Treyarch's next Call of Duty in 2024 and how that might be my last call of duty and i'm really leaning towards that man it's, you know i'm really hoping that xbox does take over call of duty and activision and we'll see what happens with the franchise from there but at this point at this juncture you know i'm just i'm kind of checked out on the franchise man it's like treyarch has always been my studio and i explained that in the video why they still have one more chance with me but even if they hit a home run with that game I still feel like it could be my last because I'm just tired of the shit, man. You know, we do have to. Some of these people talking this shit in comment sections all, all across YouTube. <laughs> there is validity there. 
right? We do need to start speaking with our wallets, man. The problem is, is there's so many casual people that play Call of Duty because, you know, that's the biggest game. That's the game that they know. They just buy it every year. They don't watch YouTube videos. They're not up with the community. They don't know what's going on. They might, they might be leaning towards feeling like they're being took, but they just buy it and they don't play it. They don't put much care into it, man. They, they don't really give a fuck what happens. They just play the game in a little bit of free time that they have, and that's it, man. They, they call it a day. I'm telling you, if I didn't start this YouTube channel when I did, if I didn't have this YouTube channel now, I probably would have quit COD in Modern Warfare 2019. <laughs> I probably would maybe even Black Ops 4 because I remember with Black Ops 4 there was a lot of mistakes made with that game they did a lot of things right with that game but there was definitely a lot of mistakes with that game I probably would have quit back then in Black Ops 4 too man like I love Call of Duty no other franchise has hooked me like Call of Duty has you know I love The Last of Us Part 1 Part 1 <laughs> get that Part 2 the fuck out of my face Part 1 one of my favorite story-driven games of all time, right? But it's not a franchise like Call of Duty is. Like, Call of Duty, you know, from COD 4 to Black Ops 2, I liked every single one of those games. I loved every single one of those games. MW3, for me, was the weakest out of that golden era, but I still enjoyed the hell out of that game, man. It just, there were some problems there that were hard. It was a hard pill for me to swallow, with that game it made some mistakes but i still enjoyed that game got tons of great memories with the homies on that game and it's like call of duty has been my franchise man it's been my game and you look at this direction that they're going in since modern warfare 2019 man it's just it's a direction that i'm not looking to follow you know it's it doesn't feel like the same game we all fell in love with, man, with the skill-based matchmaking, the rig gunfights, and all this other fucking bullshit that they're doing with these games. You know, it's tough, man. It's tough. You got a game here that still has the foundation. It's still got that silky smooth gunplay. You know, especially the guns, the animations, the way they look and the way they sound and all that in MW Deuce. It's addicting, man. You want to pick up that gun and use it because it's so clean. But you got all this fucking horse shit surrounding this game, man. It's just suffocating the fuck out of it. You can't breathe. But anyways, that is enough for this rant for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm out.